Hello and welcome to this session. This session we will see installation of Arduino software on Windows, Linux and Mac OS. In any of these operating system, you have to go to first arduino.cc web page. Click the download link to proceed to download section. You can see here we have various download options for all operating systems and we also have access to source code. At the time of this recording Arduino 1.6.5 is the latest version for and you may receive you may see a different version here at the time of viewing. It is totally fine to download any later version of Arduino as long as it doesn't conflict with our experiments. I will let you know if any conflict is there then I will re-record this video and give you the latest stable version. Till then you are free to go with any version listed here. For Windows installation I prefer for non-admin install Windows zip file. Click on this link and you will be redirected to a contribute page. You may contribute to Arduino open source project with your donation or you can simply click on just download. This will begin a download of 140MB zip file which I have already downloaded so I will cancel it and I will go to my desktop. On my desktop I have this zip file which you have to do extract all to obtain Arduino 1.6.5 folder. So in this folder you have various files related to Arduino IDE, compilers and Arduino backend files, configuration files. So before we proceed and start Arduino IDE, it is required to install drivers for your operating system. Please remember the driver installation is unique to Windows only for Linux and Mac you need not to install any USB to serial drivers. Based on your operating system architecture either you have to install DSP INST AMD64 for 64-bit machines and x86 for i386 or 686 machines. So most of the Windows latest Windows operating systems are 64-bit you may always find out your operating system version. So I have Windows 8.1 so I will install this 64-bit version. Say yes to installation. Click next to the wizard and the installation is complete. You may have uh, for your installation you may uh, see few more dialogues which you have to accept and say OK. As the installation of driver is complete we can go back one folder back and click on Arduino application to launch Arduino software. That's all. That's all required for installation of Arduino software, Arduino IDE on Windows operating system. In the next section I will move to my Linux desktop there I will show you download for Linux and Mac OS. So I will pause this video here and I will resume in Linux section if you don't have Linux it's totally fine you may stop this video and proceed to next video. So here I am with my Ubuntu desktop and this procedure will work with any operating system. For Ubuntu you can again go to the download section and click on Linux 32-bit or 64-bit based on your system architecture. So let me show you how to find out on a Linux terminal can type uname hyphen a and this will print the system architecture in my case it is x86 64 bit so I will go to Linux 64 bit and click it will again redirect me to this donate page I will click just install just download and this will prompt me a file name with dot xj tar dot xj format so in Linux operating system they use tar or bz2 formats instead of using zip. In, in fact zip is also supported 
but tar.xz and tar.bz2 are more common in Linux. So I will cancel this download because I have already downloaded it. So this is my Arduino 1.6 point tar.xz. I will right click and do extract here. This will take some while. So once the extraction is done, you can see this directory. Arduino 1.6.5 and immediately you can find there is no drivers folder here. So you need not to worry about driver. You can simply run this Arduino file from command line and invoke the Arduino IDE. So coming back to command line interface, let me clear the screen by pressing Ctrl L CD Arduino 1.6.5 LS. I have changed my terminal settings so that the folders, the directory shows in yellow color, plain text files show in white and executable text file shows in green. You can see Arduino text file is an executable file. If you want to view the content, you can simply press cat Arduino. You can see it's a shell script. Control L to clear the screen. You can run an executable file by simply pressing dot slash. Arduino. So this will invoke the Arduino IDE. This will take some time for the first time. And this procedure is same for all Linux variants, whether you're using Fedora, Red Hat, Mint, Debian or any of these versions this will work and you get the same IDE what you saw in Windows the IDE is completely portable it's a Java based IDE as you know Java is platform independent so you can verify there is a board Arduino Uno already selected which is our board which we have seen in the microcontroller chapter the port number is already selected slash dev tty acm0 and it detects us Arduino Uno. In Windows environment you will see either COM1 or COM2 and you can select either COM1 or COM2 whatever whichever is Arduino Uno. Fine so I will close this here close this IDE now and let me show you an alternate way to install Arduino software on Linux and this may be different for different Linux distributions for Linux as for Ubuntu or Debian based distributions such as Ubuntu, Lubuntu, Mint, you can simply issue sudo apt-get install Arduino. So this command will look for Arduino software in the system, in the repositories, in the distribution repositories and install it from there. But I strongly recommend you use the latest version which is available from Arduino.cc because the repositories they, they don't update the latest version very often. So when you click hit enter it will ask for your sudo password and as soon as you give the sudo password it will show you okay so it started downloading and I will press Control C. I don't want to download it because I already have one version. And that's how you install on Linux operating system. So for Mac, it's even simpler. Simply go to Arduino.cc web page. I have already opened it. So instead of selecting Linux or Windows, I will just click on Mac. It will again redirect to this contribute page. Click just download and you will have this zip file macosx.zip all you need to do is download this zip file and place it in your application folder or simply extract it uh, sorry download this zip file extract it to your application folder or simply application simply extract it anywhere else and you are good to go you can just click on arduino folder arduino link and your ide will pop up no need to install any drivers or anything else so that's all for installation of Arduino software on various platforms. 
So in the next section, we will see in the next video, we will see what are the various components of Arduino. We'll see a blink LED program and we will try to find out every component of that program. See you then.